yeah, this is too much. This is too much. I'm gonna break the dough. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You clicked on my video because you want to know about my game Aiden Jr. or I clickbaited you. And that I'm sorry. Uh, anyhow, um, I worked on my game and I want to show you the progress. I think in my latest devlog, I was um, hoping to get started with the, uh, with the combat. Uh, it didn't really happen. No, no. It's like this weird thing with game development that every time when you feel like you're going to do a, a, the next thing, another thing just comes by and, and, and grabs your attention. Um, in my case, I, I already had a um, some sort of a AI going on for my um, for my game, and with AI I mean the um, the NPC behavior. It did what it needed to do, like pick uh, random positions in the world, do some roaming. It could also d detect you with the uh, with the enemy detection system. But it was super wonky. <laughs> like I was constantly stumbling on bugs. Uh, and you know I could fix them with like duct tape code, but in the end it wasn't really stable not for future growth Let me first try to explain how I went about it in my previous build the one that I replaced with all the new code um, I had those two ray casts those little glowing objects right over here And they could detect whether like a box was hitting uh, either the lower ray casts or also the upper one and whenever the lower one was colliding, um, it told the crab that it could jump. And whenever both were colliding, it told the crab to turn around. Uh, but it wasn't really aware about the environment at all. It was constantly picking locations in uh, walls or outside of the bounds. And I had to go about all sorts of raycasts to fix that. I even had a raycast like pointing to the floor. To detect whenever there was like a cliff nearby and then i had to figure out a way to let the crab know that there was like a possible way behind an obstruction so i was thinking about having another ray cast like uh, for example all the way up here to let the crab know that there's nothing in front of him a few meters you know from the left or from the right it was just getting so messy it was getting so messy so the moment i wanted to start working on the combat, the actual combat mechanics, I went and looked up some tutorials about pathfinding. And that's something that I implemented and also the thing that I want to show you. I have to delete the birdo quickly because I was working on the bird <laughs> again. <laughs> I, keep, I keep on working on the bird, man. That stupid bird won't leave me alone. This is going to be a bird simulator. Um, so let me add a crab real quick. Um, Let's make it two. Let's make it two. A little disclaimer, this is not a tutorial. I will make a tutorial about the, uh, the pathfinding, the navigation region 3D node, but that will be a future video. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see that one. Uh, now I'm just going to go through it very briefly. The uh, shapes that you see here, all the triangles, these are the um, uh, locations where the crabs are allowed to go. This is the path region of the crabs. Um, so as you can see, it can go around the large blocks right over here. It can also go on the half blocks and it can also climb this little block on the bigger blocks. So different agents, like different enemy types will have different uh, rules. So that's basically what I did. I created a navigation mesh based on the grid map that I had and a few other objects like the uh, little hut. Um, and then I made the crabs uh, pick a location within the mesh. Uh, so yeah, it's picking the little dots. Uh, it still has its own roaming region that I um, uh, code. So it will always stay into uh, somewhat the same place. And I no longer have to use the raycast, the uh, bottom and top raycast, and even the edge detect uh, raycast to make it so that the crab doesn't pick a location outside of the map or uh, in a certain object. Uh, it, it will all do it uh, because of this navigation mesh. Yeah, the crab is simply aware of where it's allowed to go to and not. Let me disable the navigation real quick and add the player to layer 5 again. So that makes it so that the crab can detect me. Oh yeah, that's something that I did as well. I added this uh, node called AgroVision. It's basically a node that makes it so that whenever I add it to any character in the world, it will have this cone, the red one, 
uh, which will try to detect the player. And whenever the player is inside the cone, the ray cast that you see right over here, this one, will fire and it will check whether there's any objects between you and the crab. And if there's an object between you and the crab, then you are hidden, for example, in a bush or behind a tree. If there's nothing in between, then it will go super aggressive and it will chase you. Um, I can show you real quick how that looks like. Now the line is red because I'm behind the box and now it's green. So that's basically how it works. And whenever there's nothing in between me and the crab, it will uh, set the aggro mode to true and then it will start to follow me. I enabled this code again so I can show you the full power of the navigation agent. At the start of the video, I showed you that the little green dot and the red lines uh, were the random movement, like random targets in the world. But whenever I go in front of a crab and the explanation point appears, uh, I will be the target. And the green little dot will always be on me. Uh, let me, this guy is still so unaware of me. Notice me. Yeah. All right, they both notice me. And if you look at those lines, you can clearly see that it knows about the grip map. It will pick the shortest route. So I can also play this little uh, hide and seek thing, you know, play tag, which is super cool. And, you know, I had this somewhat working with my own code, but it was so buggy. And I can only imagine how much headaches I would get um, if I actually had to, to implement combat in, on top of that. So uh, another thing that's super cool, if I walk on this object, you will see that it will pick a path based on the half blocks right over here. It actually picks a smart route. See? Which is so cool. And there's still lots of things I need to optimize, but the basics are there. It's uh, like in, in no way I could show you this with my own code because then I had to restart the game 20 times to make it look better than it actually was, <laughs> which I did in the past. You know, sometimes I have to, had to record like a little clip like five times and pretend that it was like one time right. But in this case, it just keeps on working perfectly. Uh, obviously, they are now just, you know, moonwalking right in front of me because I haven't implemented any other code yet. Um, but that's the next step. The next step will, will finally be combat. Trust me. And another thing that's so cool is that you can uh, use the avoidance properties, which basically makes it so that the crabs are aware of each other, uh, which isn't necessarily a collision thing. They just keep uh, some distance from each other if you implement it correctly. I'm here, notice me. Yeah, so as you can see, they keep uh, a distance from each other. And that is not really a collision uh, thing. It has nothing to do with collision. Uh, matter of fact, I don't think they even collide with each other. They just know of their um, siblings' position and they will keep distance from each other if you implement the avoidance well. Which is so awesome that, it, that this works out of the box. I do think that it's, they're gonna have some trouble being on this thing because they are pushing each other. Ah, it still goes pretty good. <laughs> it's so cool, man. Oh, I love game development, man. Especially all the AI and the behavior tree stuff. There's just something about it, man. Making those little fellas somewhat intelligent to see it work. Will they follow me? I don't think so. That would, that would be so sick. <laughs> they are still there, though. That's a, a cool thing. Whee! All right. And I also made it so that whenever you get too far from them, they will give up. See, the dots will just stay there and eventually they will pick uh, different routes again. Back to their spawning area, which is very important. While I want to give those crabs some freedom, I do want to make it so that they stay into their uh, starting area, their initial spawn area. All right, and this video wouldn't be complete if we completely break the game by adding way too many crabs. We need more. <laughs> I have already did this to check out the frame rate, how much of a performance impact the navigation and the agent uh, actually have. And there is a significant impact on the performance, but I also didn't really optimize it. It's now constantly checking the navigation mesh in each and every single frame. So I haven't optimized it at all. But you know, the frame rate is still super high. So I think for my game, this will work just fine. And especially when I optimize the game. But I think we can do better, all right? Let's, uh, let's add twice as many crabs. 
Uh, it should be illegal. Notice me! I don't think they can swim. Whee! Boom. No! They won't! Uh, some will get pushed uh, from, uh, from the ledge because of the avoidance uh, code. <laughs> but no, they cannot swim. A few crabs died it. They died it! Yeah, this is too much. This is too much. I'm gonna break the dough. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, the frame rate is now around 20, 30. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> All right, let's double it one more time. Yeah, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna break my game. No. Yeah, a frame rate of eight. This is not good. Not good. So the next video, or at least the next devlog video, will finally be about the combat. Um, it's not... Boom! So yeah, this is super basic. The, the, the crab doesn't fight back. It doesn't sound and doesn't feel snappy and crispy. That's something for the next video. So if you want to see that one, make sure to subscribe, like, and say something nice in the comment section. And I see you guys around in the next video or stream. I stream on the other channel, by the way the gaming channel, the orange one. All right, see you there. Bye-bye.